Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Bibliophiles. Today, instead of reading and looking at a novel, I'm going to be looking at this. Space Traveler's Handbook. Every Man's Comprehensive Manual to Space Life, written in 1979 by Michael Freeman. <clears throat> I thought this was, uh, this, this, like I said, this isn't really a novel, it's like a sort of a theoretical history book that was supposedly made in 2061, and they take a look at the past, or, yeah, past 100 years of space flight and space travel, starting with um, 2006, at, um, 1961 and onward. And um, it takes a look at the various forms of technology, in technology like uh, spacesuits and rockets and so forth, and then takes a look at how they can go, and even touches on... Um, Unlike international politics in space, um, takes we see some like examples of different spacesuits that we see here, and we also see um, take a look at some old rockets like the Gemini, the all the way up to the Saturn V, uh, Russian space rockets like the Vostok and Voskhod and the Soyuz, and as well as taking a look at space stations like Skylab and then and so forth, seeing how di different ways that liftoff vehicles can work. Here's some examples here. Here's this one, which is like based on the space shuttle, this other rocket design here, and um, this silly looking thing. Also, also um, various different ideas for, you know, different types of um, uh, engines for interplanetary travel once we do get into space, such as uh, the ion rocket, uh, nuclear thermal rocket, for the mass drivers for moving asteroids, and one thing that I particularly like the solar sails for catching wind. You also look at um, other things such as um, a little cutout of a possible colony, the way that it can look, and, um, and taking a look at um, uh, rovers like the first the lunar rover here, and then looking, yeah. And then taking a look at different ways it could change and improve, such as um, two variations. One is a tracked version, and the other one is a flying version. Both of them that have um, their own internal environment, so you can drive it in just regular clothes. And um, there's a thing that looks takes a look at uh, the different planets. And you know, just like your basic stuff. Uh, but one thing that I liked about the when they take a look at the moon is they it, it takes a look at this like a theoretical you know moon base. I, I don't know why this little thing is gone, I, but whatever. Um, and eventually, it uh, caps off with the timeline. You know, starting off in 1955 and then ending in, you know, 2060. You know, you know, still reading off like a history book. And I thought it was a very interesting look through at the different technology and different ways that it could evolve into something better. And... <clears throat> And I'd say if you find it, then I'd say, well, I recommend it because, frankly, I believe in the idea of going to space and colonizing and, you know, harnessing the resources of other planets. But, um, like, yeah, yeah, that just, that's, that's just my opinion. And I don't really know where you can actually find a, 
a book like this or this old or whatever. It, but I'm gonna say, you know, if you find it like at a library or a bookstore or like or anywhere, then I well probably not gonna find it at a bookstore. It's made in written in 1979, but if you find it, then I say check it out, buy it, or whatever. And my uh, fi like final grading, I guess you could say, is well, I'm not really gonna give it a. Nah, I think I is definitely a four out of five. It's kind of outdated, very outdated actually, but it's still an interesting go through. You know, taking a look at the different technology and the so-called history, <clears throat> but it's still good and high and recommended in my opinion. Well, um, till the next time, I'm your host saying, uh, well, uh, I'm your host signing off. See ya.